Hey, what is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we're gonna be comparing the Royal Strive to the Royal Rive. The Strive comes in at a 13.5 minus one three. The Strive coming in at a 13.5 3.5. So the Rive is supposed to be a much more overstable 13 speed than the Strive. I've been throwing this prototype Strive for between three and four months. I've been throwing this stock run Strive for a couple weeks now and I've been throwing this Rive for about one week. So as far as the wear and tear goes, we don't have a substantial amount of wear and tear going on except for on the Strive prototype, which I've thrown quite a lot. The Strive is currently my favorite distance driver. Absolutely bombs, crushes for me. I can throw it out on slight hyzers, get a little bit of flip, and then a little bit of finish. If I throw it flat, I can get a nice big turn. On forehands, I can get hyzer flips, I can get big high turnovers. This is just that do-it-all distance driver for me. And I hit up my sponsor, Power Grip USA. You can use my code ICEBERG10 to save 10% at their website. Any orders over $70 ship for free. I hit them up. I said, hey, I love the Strive. Can I try Rive? And they sent me out the Rive to compare it to. So I guess before I throw them, I should show you guys the side profiles here. The side profiles are actually quite similar. What I really see is the main difference between these two distance drivers is that the Strive is a, just a little bit more shouldery. But really, these two discs look very similar across the board. And if we look at the underside, usually how I can tell if a disc is going to be really stable or not is this spot under the wing here. And normally very stable discs are very concave under here. But we don't really have that being the case today with the Rive. So I was surprised the first few times I threw this with how stable it actually was. The biggest difference being this little touch bit more um, downward moving shoulder here. So let's give these bad boys a throw. See how they're all flying. We'll go prototype, then we'll go stock strive, then we'll go stock rive. So as you can see, the strive is no slouch in stability. Do have a little bit of a tailwind coming through. And the Strive is by far my favorite distance driver right now. I've been throwing it really, really well out on the course. And now we've got the Rive here. I can really show you guys how stable this thing is. A lot more fade and skip at the end of the flight. Quite a bit of hyzer, but you can see it popped up a little bit. Had a nice consistent finish at the end of the flight. Let's throw it a little bit more flat here. So you can see getting a really nice turn there. Little too much turn. I kind of yanked over on that one. I really wanted to see it go right a little bit. Now we've got the rive here. Let's trust on a similar angle to that second shot. not really wanting to turn at all, and then finding a nice big fade and skip at the end of the flight. And I just love how Latitude 64 has been able to take a really popular and really great feeling mold, make something that is so similar, it's hard to really discern a difference between the two just based on feel alone. But then when you throw them, you can get two very different flights. And I love how I can go to those two discs, get that same comfortable feel in hand, but get the shot shape I'm looking for as well. It's just so handy out on the course. All right, guys, let's see how they fly on the other side. Let's throw a few forehands. We'll throw the stock strive and then the stock rive. This is the shot where I really wanted to try a rive out for is mostly on these forehand lines because although I do like the strive on the distance lines, I'm always, I always have been and I always will be like a chop forehand thrower. And I just didn't quite have that chop forehand disc that I've been you know, wanting the bag for a while. I was throwing a destroyer for a while, but it got kind of flippy. So now we'll go show you guys how this uh, strap goes. So the strives bomb for me on forehand as well. What I really wanted the Rive for was the more chop style forehand, like the own Scoggins sort of over the top Anheuser forehand. So I'm really hoping these Rives can hold up to that Anheuser angle. Oh yeah, see that's perfect. It's not so stupid overstable to where 
you're not going to get any distance and it's just going to crash. It's like that perfect stability where it wants to fight out the whole way through. When it comes to the forehand, I've always been a flex player. I always like to release them on Anheuser when I can. And that Rive is like, like absolutely perfect for that line for me. All right, guys, just to wrap things up for today's video, the Strive will be my workhorse distance driver, unless something more amazing comes along, which I haven't had a driver that I like as much as I like the Strive for a long time. I've had so many different distance drivers come in and out of my bag, and it just really seems like this is the one for me. And to have a disc that I can go right next to it and complement it and be that little bit more reliable, overstable option for those choppy, more flex shots that I love to throw, seems like the perfect one-two punch for me. So let's throw each disc one more time. We got the Royal Strive and then the Royal Rive. So we'll do a backhand and a forehand, and then we can say goodbye for today. Oh yeah. I mean, the Strive is an absolute beauty of a distance driver. Now let's throw the Rive. I gotta get used to having a driver that I can really trust. I can really trust this thing on a flex. Oh yes, that's a freaking bomb. Anyway guys, go get yours over at Power Grip USA. Use my discount code, save yourself some money over their website. Those are two distance drivers that truly go hand in hand. I'm curious to see how the Rive beats in and see if it gets a little bit flippier. I have seen some flippy Rives out there that some of my friends have out on the course. But as of right now, that thing is an absolute beefcake. The Strive is just a little bit glidier and pushier option. I really can't think of a better one-two punch for me in my game right now. So anyway, go check out Power Grip. Go get your Berg Sport V4 over at bergsdisksports.com. Use my code ICE20 to save 20% on anything over at their website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and take care.